supposed to be a latte. I'm not very good with coffee. I'm still getting used to coffee, if you feel me. And today it's not very latte. It's not very latte. All the ice is gone. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. We have some wonderful updates for you today. This was going to be an uglies video, right? And I just kind of found stuff that wasn't ugly. So I guess I've changed it at the last moment. I'm going to do some updates. I'm just going to walk back here because my update plants are here to tell you about what we have. We do have an ugly in here. At least one ugly, one ugly, one weirdo, one sort of pretty, one pleasant surprise, one thing I've forgotten about, another really nice development, some seed updates, some Delta seed updates, very, very nice as well. So we have a range. Let's just get to it. Right, I'm trying to put this at my feet. You know what? I can hold the top leaves. That's how big it is. So do you remember? God, I don't even know when. So long ago, I bought in some collocation. I had seeds and I was growing them and whatever. I can't even, guys, I can't even remember what I got in. I think Ben took care of the order. So I don't, I don't fully know what it is we bought. We lost a lot of them because I think we just didn't put any effort into growing them. To be honest, they dried out. When they're small and pluggy, it's very easy to dry out. But one or two have survived. I think there are some over there. Are there some over there? You know what? There might not be any left, but I have this guy that's left and I don't know what he is, but he's, he's, I mean, it's not hard to guess, but I just want to show you him because he's so large. He took me by surprise when I walked past and I couldn't really see him because he's so large. His leaves were like right up where the lights are. So all I saw were just petioles. I didn't really think anything of it, but I want to show you this guy. I put him in an outer pot and there's no point. So I'm going to remove him, but check out this guy just to give you full context. Have you seen, like, this is how long I've had this guy for. Just to give you full context here, I just hold him like this in line with, I don't know, my hip. That's how tall he is. But look at him. Now, I know you might want to say that he's black magic, but I, I feel like he isn't. I do feel like he's something we ordered. Because I know I got a black magic a long time ago from Ben. But didn't I say that that died? I'm sure that that died. I'm sure of it. I don't think this is it. And I know everyone's going to be like, no, it is, it is. But I don't think it is. I'm willing to be wrong. I'm not saying I'm not willing to be wrong, but I don't think it is. But I just want to show you him really, really quickly. But another thing I want to show you. Let me just kick this out of the way. Another thing I want to show you is the roots on this. It's actually really interesting. Uh, look at the color of the roots. I realize this is grim. I've had to pull this one out of the bottom of the tray that it's been in. And two, I've actually had to pull this out of half of a gloriosum. So if the roots are a bit, ugh, that's why. But look at this. Can we just take a moment to be like, ooh, because they're not just pink roots. They, they definitely have a purple tint. And I hope you can actually see the purple tint. I hope it comes off on camera. But this is how long I've had this plant. <laughs> see, that to me there is absolutely purple. Make a cool thumbnail that. I know it's root. It's not really the typical thing. But focus. It will if I get my face out of the way. Look at that. Purple root. Wonderful. Look at that. So he's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Maybe I should pot him up because he seems... Maybe a little bit unhappy in something that big. He probably would have had a nicer leaf to petiole ratio if I hadn't forgot about him and left him in a pot and probably not fed him. So be that as it may. He does have some stolons crawling out. Stolons are also known as runners, by the way. You you might have heard both. You might have heard neither. So that's what that does. Colocasia, literally, people probably don't know this, but they can behave very much in the same way to Monstera behave. And they do send out stolons to grow new plants. So although you can grow them from like a rhizome, they will actually run like this as well. So that's really, really cool. We love to see it. So whatever it is, it's making more of itself because it's decided, hey, she ain't gonna feed me. I'm gonna live somewhere else is probably, I'm guessing what it wants to do. So I will say this, when new leaves come in, they don't just turn dark. I do think this, it, I want to say it's a light thing, but again, I actually think it might be a heat thing. Can't really remember. It could be both. Don't get me wrong, but I think heat definitely, definitely produces this. I don't know if this has had something over it or it's just the light bleaching it. I'm not sure. But how nice is he? I'm going to move on from that because he was just literally a random thing I wanted to show you. But if you want to know how dark he is, I'm wearing black. And I think he's pretty dark. So we'll just grab him for a cute little, maybe a thumbnail. Ooh, it's nice. Beautiful plant. So we'll put him down. Don't know what he is, guys. He's a random Caucasia with really cool roots. Love that. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna have to lean him on here because he won't stay, stay. Right, a slight positive update on some of my philodendron whip away. And again, I will squeeze past this one reasonably fast because I know that I think I've shown this recently and I don't know how much people care anymore. So I have a tray of whip away and I mentioned in a couple of videos back, basically I've had some problems with leaf buckling and stuff like that just because I think they haven't had good airflow, they haven't had good light, they've had good humidity, but I just think for whatever reason, they all got stunted at the same time. And as a result, many leaves have buckled and they've come out nasty and it just, it hasn't been fun. However, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they're just pumping out huge leaves. So I just wanted to show you really quick. And it is literally as simple as that. So I'm aware this plant I'm about to show you does look ugly, but the new leaf is great. My plant upstairs is doing the same thing. The one I've got on the pole, I have a couple of these out and oh, so good. So this is what's happened to it. So as you can see, I've propagated it from here. Hopefully you can see that. Then we've had some leaf buckling issues that I have not got to in time because there's so many in there, they, they need separated really. Then we've sort of had it happen again. I think I sort of, I sort of rescued it. But literally we've gone from this to this. Look at that, out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere. Got that beautiful pink backing on it, by the way, if you're curious as to how it looks. Not the best example of a whip away, I won't lie. I've held up some gorgeous ones in the past. This ain't one of them, but I just want to show you that it's just randomly decided to just literally boot out a big leaf. Um, a couple of them are doing it, not this big. This is arguably the biggest. And then I have mine upstairs that's basically giving me a couple of these as well. So it is very, very pretty. Yeah, just want to squeeze past it. I don't know what's going on with this. Is it growing multiple things? Like, what is that? So we've got some stuff here as well. I don't know if you can see this, what I'm doing here. I think it's just gone a bit mental. Like, it's got loads of little, I mean, I pulled that off. Oops. But it's got loads of little growth points coming in, look. That is a bit bizarre. I'll show you it again. I literally just wanted you to see that because it's, I, I would say that was pretty random, wouldn't you? I don't even know if it's been fed. I, I feel like it hasn't. Some of my feed has just come in today. Not the big amazing batch, by the way, don't get excited, but I have my own sort of supply of it. It's actually down here, funny enough. Right here. Does it say what it is? Ooh, it says the name of it, hang on. <laughs> it's unreleased. If I just cover the name on it, that's my little batch of feed in this. I have two of these in just to tide me over because the actual feed is coming really soon. I think it might, is it next week it comes? Then it's got to be boxed up and sent out. So not long at all, not long at all. So yeah, awesome. We'll pop that down there. Uh, yeah, so I popped him back. Literally, that's all it was to say, guys. Just look at him. Isn't he cute? Actually, he lives here, so I'm going to put him in here. I'm going to show you something so ugly, and hopefully a lot of you may remember this. And this is when my video started being ugly, and now it isn't, because this inspired me. But I guess I don't have anything in the shop quite as ugly as this. Let me show you what it is. <laughs> Do you remember a video? Got to have been last year. It's got to have been last year. But a video in which Ben made an order, and he showed me them. And I was kind of like, what the hell is this? And there was some real nasty shit in there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, there's some real nasty shit. I don't even know what happened to most of it. I think most of it is dead because a lot of it was just really weird. So, but something has survived and it was something that I asked you to vote on in the comments. Now, a lot of you that have seen that video probably know what I'm talking about, but alas, guys, it's still alive. I think it was dying. Somebody has put it in here with a different plant that is growing to save it. I wonder who that somebody is because I was quite happy to let just let it die, really. Uh, so let me introduce you to the still ugly, uh, I just know it to be a Sissus. And that's this guy. As you can see, before I show you all of this, he is in there with an Aglaonema Manila Pride, Manila's Pride, whatever it is, variegated Aglaonema. He's in with one of those little guys that's growing. So that's fine. No complaints about that. But yeah, you can see that this has just been lobbed in with it. And alas, guys, it's alive. It is still variegated and it is still ugly. So it's just a variegation. It's just, ugh. Ugh. It's just awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Listen, right? You cannot like every plant. And if you do, you're lying. I'm not going to be one of these people that's like, oh my God, all plants are beautiful. I love them all. And I'm, I'm not trying to be nasty, right? But it's just not how it works. Do you know what I mean? Some things make you want to vomit. And this is one of them. Because it looks like someone already has. Or a bird's crapped on it. I don't know. This is ugly. This is ugly. And I'm confident in that. And I want you to be too, because it's horrible. So let's have a look. That is essentially what the variegation tends to look like all down it. It, it does vary. It varies in, you know, uh, we've got some here, down like that, and a little bit of down here. Not, qu not quite as bad, you're not quite as further down the line of being sick there. Uh, and then at the moment, it's just like, you know, when you, before you're going to be sick, you're like, 
No. So that I feel like that is at that level, and then it does get to the point where it's like, <clears throat> at the top. I really hope that's not triggering anyone to be sick, by the way. I know some people are really sensitive. Should have put a warning on pretend sick. I don't know. So that's him anyway. I just want to show you him because he is, he's horrible. <laughs> Horrible. I hate him, but he's alive, and I'm not going to kill him. I'm not. I'm not totally mean. Like if I'm walking past watering stuff, I would water it. I'm not horrible. It's probably one of the reasons it's alive. But am I going to do anything to nurture it? No, not at all. So we'll just see what happens with him. I really like. I just couldn't give a shit if it died, guys. How it hasn't died, the only reason I assume it hasn't died is because it's based off like quite a common plant and it's just pretty easy to keep alive. It reminds me a lot, the way it grows actually, of the Discoria I've got, which is very much not like this. This is beautiful. Sorry, that's beautiful. This is not beautiful. <laughs> I need more coffee. So you have that that is nasty. Can you see the nastiness? If so, if someone sat at home liking this, honestly, are you all right? Are you all right? So you have that, and then if I can actually grab it here, because why not? We are here. Which one's it attached to? Oh, it's attached to here. See, my friend gave me this, and it's stunning. It's really stunning. This is what you should get instead of that, right? So I know you might be thinking, oh, no, it's really nice. I don't know what you're talking about. No, get this instead. It's much prettier. So look at this. In its place, not nasty. This is a Discoria that I've had, and at least this does provide an update on it because it's absolutely stunning. So look at that there. Sorry, there is roots in front of it, but I love it when they go all spirally and curly. It's really cute. You get that. That's what you get with Discoria. Not only that, but you're ready for fun. So I'm going to turn it around. You get this gorgeous, oop, gorgeous purple colour. So that's what you could have, right? So before anybody tells me, oh, it's beautiful, it vines. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Sorry, I'm just putting my little Discoria back down. But I really, really like that. It's nice. This thing, this, no, it's just going to go back where it was, right here. It's probably in this tree next to the Spiritus because it shares the same oxygen. How shocking. How shocking. I'm just going to leave that there. And then maybe in six months it might be dead. And then we will absolutely not mourn it at all. You know? Right, from something gross to something that makes me really happy. And that is the plant I'm about to show you. So again, I talked about this plant. Literally, you might have seen it a week ago. It might be last week's video. I appreciate that. But I tend to film, if I can, I film two in one go. So it might be further go. Why can't I talk today? Give me one minute. Coffee. <laughs> they say it helps. So what am I saying? Yes. So I film them bulk in advance sometimes. So this, I last had it like a couple of weeks ago, which to be honest, you would know that if you'd saw it and now there's a leaf out. I've made this really complicated. I've made this really complicated. It doesn't even need to be this complicated. This is stupid. Right, listen. <laughs> Listen, my homolamina, the pink thing, can't remember what it was. Homolamina, rubescens variegate, whatever it was. Ooh, coffee's kicked in. Yes, boy. It was reverting and I was very sad about it. Do you remember that? Because it was fine. It got cut and sadness happened and it reverted. Something great has happened with the new leaf and I had to tell you about it because I'm genuinely thrilled because I really like this plant. Every time I've shown it previously on videos, you should realize this if you've watched the ones that I've shown it in anyway. I've always liked it. I've never really shit talked it. I really like the plant. It's lovely. It's a nice alternative to an alocasia slash philodendron. It's kind of like if an alocasia made love to a philodendron, this is what you get. So I really like them, to be honest. And they're quite tough, quite tough. I should probably experiment with more homolamina. But look, look what's actually happened. And it is the same one, by the way. Full disclosure, I've actually cut two leaves off this morning just because they were huge and they were like going off in different directions. And now that it's got three leaves the same size, I thought it was good to cut it. So I've cut it, funny enough, for cosmetic reasons, which I never do, but that's what that is. So it is the same plant, I promise. Plus, if I held it up, you'll have seen that, I think. And then obviously that leaf there with nothing on it, guys. Mm -hmm. So we showed this leaf. Then there was this with nothing on. I'll have gone, hey, I'm really upset. This is terrible. It must have heard us, guys. It must have heard us because then it's thrown me out this. It's thrown me out this. Look, look how beautiful that is. There you go. Oh, that is really, really beautiful. And this, like another plant I'm going to show you, it does come out pinky and then it hardens off to, I will say a creamy white. I don't know why I was thinking about that so hard. It's not quite, it's because I was thinking about a strawberry shake. It's a little bit like the color that a philodendron strawberry shake sort of hardens off, only a little bit less pink. Like, I don't know if you can tell. It does kind of keep the pink margin. Please just, just show it, just show it. You might not be able to see, but it does kind of keep the pink margin. It doesn't go totally white. It's like a creamy, pinky, milkshakey white. You feel me? But yeah, I wanted to show you this because it's, mm, that's really pretty. So it's good. It heard us. It heard us. How good is that? I'm really happy with that. So hopefully that will now continue and no one will cut it. Ben's next door. 
Hopefully no one will cut this and it will grow beautifully because I really like this. I would love to have it in my house. I'm probably not going to be able to. Um, I'm going to film a repot with me after this. So it's probably the video you'll get next week. But I'm actually going to give you a small, probably a cat update because no doubt people have asked about them. Um, just to tell you how the house plants and the cats are going in the house. But don't think at present I'd be able to put something like this in if that tells you anything. So let's put this down because he's very cute. Although where did I get him from? Right, what else? Oh, this one. <coughs> I'm going to show you this one really fast and it's just to sort of support what the previous plant was doing in the way that it comes in a bit pink. So I know you've seen this plant before. I'm in love with this plant, by the way. I honestly, I'm so obsessed with this plant. It propagates so well. Oh my God. But this plant here, this is the Philodendron SP Tropicals Variegated. That's all I know it to be, guys. I don't actually know what it is underneath. So that's the name it's going by. Um, this is, it's growing beautiful. Can you see how cute this is, by the way? You haven't seen this particular propagation, I don't think. Can you see that at the bottom? Look how cute that is. And then they, this does fade off to lily white, by the way, which is interesting because it does come through a bit of a blush color. That's a bit of an older leaf there. Sometimes it can look slightly minty, although I would say that leaf's a little bit sad looking. This one hasn't fully gone down yet. It can range, you know what? I think it can range from a mint to a white a little bit. When you get two layers of variegation in this plant, it does look very minty, um, which that's a stupid thing to say because doesn't every plant look minty with two layers? What is with me today? What, what, is, what is going on? What is going on? Maybe I shouldn't have had the coffee. Maybe it's coffee. Maybe it's coffee. Answers in the comments. But anyway, this one is nice and blush when it comes in. It doesn't last, but I just actually want to show you the difference. So when they do grow like this, see, it's very, very cute. It's a little bit like a whipple way, just in terms of the color change. Because whipple way, I wouldn't say it comes in super, I'm looking at them, super pink, but it does come in quite blushed. So it's a little bit like that, really. It's, it behaves quite similarly. Obviously, this isn't ideal. I'm saying, oh, look at it, it's cute. As we know from Half Moons, do you remember? I'm going to keep educating everyone on Half Moons. I know y'all are sick by now because I think I've done this like four videos in a row. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm so sorry I'm going to keep doing it because I think people need to see what happens with these plants and there's not enough people showing you what's happening because obviously that's that's practically created a half moon there hasn't it but now we have overstepped the boundary into full moon nobody wants full moon does this look photographable and beautiful yeah by all means get your photograph on instagram but realistically that's gonna have to be cut not ideal at all so i'm gonna pop that down but it was literally just to show you how pretty this actually is because it is like that is very nice it might even be a thumbnail look at that Let's do that as a thumbnail option. If I just hold it like that and make it look real cute. There we go. So pop him down. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. I have something quite interesting to show you as it happens. So you you probably do know, maybe, I don't know, that we've been doing a lot of stuff experimenting with the Anthurium Delta Force because for whatever reason, the one I have, I guess it was just a really good specimen when I got it in terms of maturity because it's not stopped flowering. And I, I don't say that with any exaggeration at all. Is it still down here? Yeah. So right now, right now it's got a flower coming in. Does it have anything on it? No, because I think we've taken all the seeds off. We've got one flower that's spent... Uh, that I don't think we didn't get a successful pollination off it and that's going to drop and we have a new flower now. I'll tell you what, I'll just pick it up because people do ask me about this. Oh no, we still have seeds on this one. Right, okay, I'm going to do this real gently then. Otherwise Ben's going to get upset with me. Okay, so this is the delta currently, right? I will stand back with it briefly. So there's a new flower coming in. There's the yellow one is the one that just didn't quite take. And then if I really, really gently, probably won't focus because it wants to focus on me. If we're lucky, that'll focus on the seeds and not me. So there's some delta seeds. I think it might be self-pollination that. I can't remember. Ben knows what that is. But that's the delta at the moment. I'm just going to put that back because literally it is like the child of the unit right now because it has done me so well. Ironically, that's been one of the best investment plants I think I've had, to be honest. It's done so well. But I, I don't know if every single delta out there is. I do think they grow very quickly, but... I think for me in that specific plant, it just, it doesn't stop flowering. It's crazy. It's a little bit like some of my forgetty eye and stuff like that. Although Clarinervium as well, they flower a lot. So maybe it's taken after that. Anyway, my point was seeds, right? I remember where we're at. Seeds. So I can't pronounce the name of the plant this is crossed with. And I've tried for five minutes before filming this video and I can't do it. I can't do it. So it's, it's not even, it's not even what Ben says it is on here. So I have here that it's written Lecunera. Can you see it? There, Lecunera by Delta. And this was done on the 17th of April. These were done and some of them have actually taken off. Some of them have not. Some of them have gone kaput, but we do have some. 
but it's not lecanera, it's le oh, something le lecanurum. Oh, it'll be on the screen, guys, honestly. I've always thought it was lecanera, but it's not. So that's just, I've just perpetuated that over the years and now I've learned probably the wrong name. I don't think anyone's corrected me though on the channel. So I guess no one knew. But it's basically a cross between that. You might remember ages ago, I picked out, uh, it was like a weird Clarinervium hybrid or something, but I handpicked it from Thailand. And I thought it was just a weird Clarinervium, but it's not. I think it's Lecanera or Lec whatever that is, right? <laughs> so basically we've crossed that with Delta. I can't remember who the parent is. I believe it could be the Lecunera, just due to the way that's written, I think. Um, again, I'd have to ask Ben, because Ben's... Would you believe Ben's the one that's been doing all of that? You probably would. So that's what that is. And they've started taking off. You can't really see anything of what it's going to be yet. I don't really see much Delta in it, but if it's not, you know, the main parent, then it might not. But them two together, yeah. It does look like it might pop well. We'll see. It's early days. So there's not there's not a lot to show you in terms of what these look like, but it's just the fact that they're there and they're kicking off. Because I don't know anybody that's done this hybrid yet. I'm not saying it's a big deal. It's not really a big deal or not a big deal, but you know what I mean? I don't really see this hybrid about, and it is genuine Delta that's obviously made these. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. And we have at least four plants that have taken off. No, it's not a lot, but it's something. So I'll just show you those there, the closest I can them. Do a little bit of a rotatey, rotatey. And that's what we've got there. So they're very cute. Not much to say other than they exist and they're growing. So that's awesome. The next plant I want to update you on is a plant that I don't know when I hold it, if I'm honest. It must have been a little while ago because I haven't hauled anything in in a while. But it's really, really nice. And I think at the time, I think at the time it looked quite nice. And we've clearly propagated it. And it's taken a little while to shoot up. But now that it has, it's looking really nice. And I did see one of these on the internet literally yesterday. I saw one on Instagram and a shop had it. And I don't know who it was. Was it House of Monstera? I don't know. I saw it on somebody's feed and I'm sure it was a shop that had it. And I was like, oh, that, I think that's what I have. And I can't remember what they said it was because I only know this to be a, a variegated Raphidophora. So I'm not entirely sure on what it is. I'd have to go all the way back and see what was ordered in. But I just wanted to update you on it. Does it even say? No, variegated Raph. So it's not known. But this is one of the old leaves. It's just not, it's not done amazing, you know, but it is what it is. This is how it grows. Just so you can see the coloration. Obviously it's gone back juvenile, but it's not, it's not really a big problem. And we've got this. When the new leaves come in, I'm noticing a, a big pattern on a lot of this kind of, this kind of variegation. It does come in a bit yellower and it, it fades down minty. I've seen a lot of stuff like that. I have some Epipremnum over there that has basically this exact variegation, by the way. Uh, that comes in yellowy and fades. The Spathophyllum that I have back there and I have some at the top, that does the same thing. It comes in slightly yellowy and fades. So this is just something I'm noticing that happens. But it is very, very cute. It's a long way off doing anything with it. It, it probably is due another cop, but we just need to get more growth out of it. Because I think I have... I had more than one of these, but that might be the only one I've now got. Or did I only haul one in? I can't remember, you know. This is the problem. I keep things for so long. Can't remember where I got them from or anything. Do you know what I mean? The things come in here and they, they don't leave fast at all, as you guys know. There's, sometimes they're in here like eight months. I need to get a move on, really. It's a bit stupid. So I'll just show you him really quick because it was literally just to show you. Oh, looky. I forgot all about him. So I'm actually going to put him back where he lives, even though I've just put that homolamina in that gap. Now I know what the gap was for. Oh, dearie me. Just pop him there. There we go. Beautiful. And I now want to show you the progress on one of my Monstera white monsters. Now I had more than one, right? And I had a beautiful one to show you and I couldn't find it in the shop. And I thought, where on earth has it gone? I know it was there. It was gorgeous because I wanted to photograph it for the shop. Not to sell, but to have like a nice, I don't know what you call it, like a brochure picture, just something for the site, right? Because I'm terrible for doing that. I really need to start doing that. I end up getting cut before they can get photographed, basically. So I went looking for it. I couldn't find it. And I've only just found it this morning in the propagation box of loads of stuff that's been cut. So that's nice. So I can't show you that. But I do want to show you this one. And I, I don't know how I feel. I want you to tell me how you feel, actually. So this here I'm about to hold up is a monster or a white monster. Thank goodness it's got one of the older leaves on so you can actually tell. But I'm going to hold up this because it really is white monster, by the way. You can probably tell here. An oldie but a goodie. That's how you know it's large form because it's that small and it's pushing out something like that. Very cute. So that's one of the older leaves. And if you remember at one point we had some white leaves. Now there is some burning, but they're not dead, which I found quite interesting. 
because I don't understand how this plant survives. And this is how you know it's not, it's not the same as an elbow that's taken over. And I, I wish I could understand this for you better because I still don't want to recommend things that are like this until I understand how this can be okay. Because you've got to remember, I don't know everything. We've been through this a million times, of course. I'm not a botanist, I don't know. So this does seem fine because we've had a couple of these and now they've grown from this. Oh, you know what? I'm just realizing as I'm talking to you, that's not the case. That's not the case at all. So these are separate plants. Or oh, they look to be separate plants. Are they separate plants? Hang on, guys. Oh, you know what? These are separate. So scratch what I've just said. However, right. So these here are separate plants like that, okay? So these two are separate. So this one's pumped out a little one with a lot of variegation, the one that's on this. And this one, so this one does still prove what I'm going to say. It's just not the full plant. So we have a white one here that's giving us a shred of hope, which can you even see? I can on the back of the leaf. Yeah, you kind of can. Again, it's burnt. Whatever. It happens. But then it's given us this, which I do quite like. And if the plant kept doing this, then I'd find it quite sexy because it should eventually change to this. This is kind of what white monster does. Although I have had some, and I've mentioned before, where the variegation stays around. Um, I don't know how long that's going to stay. And again, I'd have to pull out every single white monster to sort of get a gauge of it. If you want me to do that at some point, I will. But I just want to show you this new one to show that it's still chaotic, but it seems to be fine. I don't know, because all this green's come back seemingly out of nowhere. Again, I wish I understood how it works. I don't quite get it. This is one of the reasons why I bought White Monster, if you remember way back when. I wanted to understand what it is. But this looks really nice. It's actually spread out so uniformly. I, I hope they all kind of do this, because if the plant does this all the time, it should make for a very pretty plant, to be honest. So that's what it looks like now. Look at that. It's quite nice. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people, if you just like tuned into the video now, you just think, well, that's a tie or an elbow or whatever. Well, you wouldn't think it was a tie, but it is something different. And it it does intrigue me the way it grows, but I, I don't know how I feel about this yet, which is what I kind of want to ask. Let me know what you think about this, or if you've got experience with White Monster, again, love to know, or you've bought one, or you know someone that's bought one, because I don't quite get whether I should worry or not. Should I worry about this? Should I not worry about this? I think I need to see the others, because to be fair, they're all alive, and by the time I get to them, they're a lot more green, and I think it's because I'm missing the, the change, like the metamorphosis in the leaf, so I keep missing them. I can see one there. They just look nice and minty, so maybe it is fine. I just don't know how old this leaf is and how long it's been going for. I'll try and keep better a better eye on them, should I say that, um, and let you know, but yeah, that's the new leaf anyway, and it does look cute, and we do have these from separate plants. I thought it it was the same plant, my bad. Don't get me wrong, it is ultimately the same plant because it's propagation, but you get my point. It's coming from a separate plant. And then that's the older one. It does demonstrate what happens. It just goes this really weird, like oceany, frothy, minty, frosty sort of vibe. It's not full green. Don't know if it looks like it is, but it's not. So that is Monstera White Monster looking weird. And that concludes today's update video. Any questions you have on any of that, do let me know down below. I know you've got some feed questions. I can, I can feel, I can feel the fingers on the keyboards. Um, there will be a launch video on that, by the way, when it happens. I need to plan that video. <laughs> and to be honest, at some point I might try and before I do that launch video, actually, sorry, this is now a segue into feed. Apologies. Before I do that launch video, I might actually put something out on Instagram that basically says, find me any questions you've got about the feed. And I will do my best to incorporate that into the launch video. I think that could be quite useful, really useful, actually. So I might do that. So that should be coming out soon. So you don't need to ask anything about that now if you don't want to. That's fine. I understand there will be a whole thing for that. But in terms of like the white monster, the seeds as well, super excited for the seeds. Um, whatever that collocation might be, that would be a good one. Um, just anything really on anything I've shown you today. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you think about that scissors. I I'm all for another scissors, no scissors, yes, because that's what we did last time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you found it entertaining. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you could join us here. Please do feel free to click on that. I have loads of other videos, whether it be updates, scammer videos, documentaries, informational stuff, loads of stuff. So thank you very much for watching this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.